On the N500C, conducting a crop changeover is quick and easy. In this video, I will review all the steps for completing a crop changeover. I will demonstrate how to change the N500C from seeding wheat to seeding soybeans. We will assume that the seeder was planting wheat using both ranks and the soybeans will be planted using only the front rank. For this example, the tank will be clean. The first step to perform a crop changeover is to complete the work setup. On the display, open the menu. Press the Applications tab and choose Work Setup. Open the crop list and choose Soybeans. Press OK. Press on the Variety text box, then choose the variety from the existing list and press OK. On the Edit Variety page, choose OK again. Before leaving the Work Setup page, make sure the correct variety is chosen and the target rate is set to controller rate or prescription as desired. Press OK to leave work setup and close out of the menu to return to the run page. On the display, open the setup module and choose the seed tab. Set the rank selection to front rank. Set the meter roller to white. On the display, verify the work point, hitch offset, and width are correct. Open the menu and choose the Applications tab. Press the Equipment Manager button and choose the Seeder. This page should now be updated for planting with only the front rank. Still, it is a good idea to verify all the entries are correct, especially the working width, dimensions, and work point. Use SCV1 to fully raise the openers. Lock up the rear rank. Now that your machine is ready, the white rollers can be installed for soybeans. Open the meter cover and verify that the slide gates are fully closed before removing the rollers if they're receiving the tank. Remove the existing roller. Install the white one. Repeat on the other three rollers. If there is any remaining seed in the plenum, open the plenum and clean out the seed. Next you will need to perform a manual meter calibration. Watch N500C Calibrations video in this series for more about performing a manual meter calibration. Since we are now only using half of the openers, each of the splitters will need to be reset. Simply slide the locking strap off the splitter gate, remove the gate, and install it into the blocking location. Reinstall the locking strap to hold the gate in place. Repeat for each splitter across the seater. Since we are only using the front openers, we will need to reposition the splitter gates for the rear openers to shut off seed flow to the rear openers. At each of the Pro Series openers, set the seed depth, press wheel, and closing wheel for the new crop. On the display, set the downforce pressure target. Refer to the operator's manual for the recommended plenum speed for the CCS blower. Open the SCV control and adjust the SCV flow to reach the recommended target. Adjust the blockage sensitivity as desired. Since soybeans flow well, here we will increase the sensitivity. Now we are ready to make a couple passes in the field to verify the CCS blower speed, performance tuning, and opener settings are correct. If everything is working well, you are now ready to seed your soybeans. In this video, I reviewed all the steps for completing a crop changeover. 